how I started is really simply just, it's an alternating C to an F, okay? That's really the basic of it. Now an F chord is like this, right? F, A, C. We're gonna take that C and play it down here. So it's common to both the chords, right? The C and the F. And it's that rocking between them. And that's the heartbeat of this song, right? I love this tune. I started it real simple with just the C chord. Pedal to the metal, you want that to ring out, but, and, and I always forget to clear the pedal, lift it up, in other words, when I change over to the F chord. I know, I know I do it. You climb out of the C, three taps on the C, the fourth one gets a B, you're climbing out of it, and it climbs up to the F. And you see that part? You play the F and the A, like you're playing the F chord. You can even add the C, this is up to you. A, A sharp, B, and then you can play when you go back down to the C the second time, we're going to add the D. I'll show you what I mean. The B. Now we're going up to the F. Two, three, and on the fourth time. This is the all-important note for me, and the note that really makes this tune is that D there, right? Eh? Start like that. B, F, the F chord, climb out, and then back to the C. So it's just that C to F, C to F. But on the second time through, when you go start to sing, and like, let's enrich it by hitting this C down here when we're hitting these two notes. So really, we're going to be playing that, right? So watch, watch what I mean. Alone, no bass first. F. Now when we come back down to play that first uh, C chord again, hit the low octave. And then we just keep going the same way. When we're playing these two, we're playing this C. And from that point on, we're just going to be alternating Like, imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. Over here, going a lot faster than normal. See? Then to the F. When we go back to the C, we hit the low. We let go of that D. That D only gets one tap. And the real beauty is of this tune for me is how lightly I can hit that with, with, with it being heard there, right? You know, I was, I was thinking a minute ago, it sounds funny, but if you were playing this song with, uh, with those bands that play bells, you know, ding, 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 ding. The person that gets this D really is the winner, although they're only playing it kind of once every once in a while, it's crucial. Listen for it. I'll show you what I mean. This is important. Hear it there? And you let off. It's just one time. I'm going to do it again. Sorry, I kind of blew that one. I blew it that time too, but you see what I'm getting at? Only tap it the once. I'm going to do it one more time. There it was. Can you hear it in there? That's, that's the beauty of this song is right there in that. The rest is really easy. But da da da. Okay, I'm going to get this out of the way so I can put some chords up here for you. So the beginning, the C's to F's. can't help but play it. Do do. I think it goes four times like that and then imagine all the people. All that is, 
Uh, I see it played many different ways where you're still alternating like at the beginning. But to me, I just kind of do it by feel and we're just going to do chords. What is that? See it? Simple, eh? F, A, C, F chord. I'm playing an F up there and one down here. Now what's going to go on is, imagine all the people. I should get the book open. I'm probably getting the words wrong. Living for today. See the bass? Imagine all the people. G. So Simple as that. What we're going to do is as we're playing that, we're going to fill the chords out on the right hand. They're so simple. Think of it this way. We're playing that F major chord. Now we want to go down to the E in bass. Why don't I bring this E down too? That's all I'm doing. But da 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 Very effective. So it's just an F chord. Going down to the E here. Look what it turns into in my right hand. An A minor, right? A, C, and E. So, but da 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 da. Okay, when we get the D, I want you to move down and we're going to play. Make a D minor. D, F, and A. Let's play that D up there. Remember our little finger was following us down. And let's go down there and get some rock and bass. See, that change is super easy. It's just the three Ds going down to the C's. You can really rock this, hammer it. But da da da, down to the E's, D minor. Whoops. Take the three Ds, put them down the C's. Now remember we were talking about the bass. Remember when it went up? The G. So I'm going to fill out a G chord in my right hand. G, B, D, and G. B, D, 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 D. All that is, look what I'm doing. I'm leaving everything down except these two guys. Just walking up the sidewalk. That's a G, right? Look at it, it's a C. It's an inversion. There's a C chord major. What's that? That's a G seventh. So if you're just playing living for today, we're just taking that G, put it in the F, but we're doing it up higher. So walk it up, C major, G seventh. G, D, F, G. And then, I'm kind of going out of sync here. I'm just showing you the different parts. Do, do, do. Back down to that F. You may say I'm a dream. Okay. Blew it. You may say I'm a dreamer. Oh, I just keep hitting this harder and harder. I'm sorry. It's so cool. You may say I'm a dreamer. This part. F major, cookie cutter it up to a G. Say I'm a dreamer. So what I'm doing, going to do here is F, say I'm a dreamer. Simple as playing the C's and the G, it's fifth. You know what, you can't do this wrong guys. If you don't, if you don't want to alternate in there, don't worry about it. Just plays, play the C's and the E's. So, let's go back. You may G, C major. Over here in the right, it's an inversion. You can play it here if you like. I'm just having to hit her there. E. Oops. Let's go. The C up to E in the bass and we're going to play a version of E there. G sharp, B and E and we're going to end up all we're going to do is play an E seventh and remember playing a seventh is taking the root note down a tone. So we're playing an E there in an inversion. Like if I had it here it'd look back you could kind of see how that's the E. I'm play an octave here. Say, 
simply F. Say I'm a dream. Up to the E. That's how the bass. So when we're playing the bass E's, we're playing that E major. Then you play the seventh here and hammer it. It's that D note again. I just noticed that. Back again. You made G in the C. E. Our alternating bass note is B. So you may say I'm a C. start again. Okay, I'll just play that last little part for you. Why don't we start from the beginning? I know I'm yelling, I'm trying to get going here, but from the beginning. The first part of the intro, I want you to do it without the bass. This is the basic. When you hit here, down with the bass. The B. Now I'm Playing the F in the bass, right? Now we start singing. Imagine there's no heaven. Okay, we'll go repeat that four times, and no, and then we start running down our F chord. Remember, ba, ba, da, 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 down to the E, D minor, just all C's, up to the G. Usually it goes back to the first verse, but we're going to keep going. Ba ba F. Say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only. Remember the C. We're just keep repeating this. I hope someday. Best piano song ever written. Hey, you feel like a stir fry? What do you think? Huh? Want stir fry?